Evening pill alarm. You know how it goes. Roxy, come on. You thought we were done? You thought we were done? We're not done. You have a whole other half of your body. Come on. We went over this. <laughs> You see, this, this is how my legs are doing me right now. <laughs> it's just not working. This is why I'm not trying to even attempt to work out this month. Or, okay, this week, not this month, this week. And I'm losing my pants. It's cool. I don't know if you could see her just sitting there. She's staring at me with this glare on her face. Cause you know what's about to happen. Come here. Good girl. Okay. I need this side of your body. I know we started it earlier, but you rolled over and then we didn't get it finished. So I mean, okay, I guess we're like two thirds of the way done. Cause we did start this side, I'll give you that. You need to cooperate, dude. Come on. The faster you cooperate, the faster we get this done. I'm talking to a dog. <laughs> He's okay? Start low. See, this is why it's healthy for me to make human friends. <laughs> because I sit here and have monologues with my dog in my head. <laughs> It's not even in my head. It's out loud. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'm almost done. Let me finish. Let me finish. You want to be done. I want to be done. You see? I need human friends. <laughs> I don't think this is a healthy... <laughs> it's okay. Let me get your neck. Come on. Good girl.
look at that. We're all done, Roxy. You pretty dog. Do Corgi shed. Yes. Yes. Corgi shed. You shed. <laughs> okay, you're done. You pretty dog. Yeah. You're a pretty dog. And you're done. Go on. Good girl. Yes, it's true. You're done. <laughs> Actually, I should have. Gotta empty the brush. This, this is not my favorite thing to do about brushing my dog. last night's pile. Here we go. I'll just start collecting it this week and you can see how big the ball gets by Friday. Here we are Monday. <laughs> Do Corgi shed. <laughs> I'm okay. It's that whole breathing thing. I'm good. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before. Sometimes it's just hard to breathe because, like, I don't know, my lungs don't expand or, like, I can't get my lungs to expand the way that they're supposed to. I don't know the signs. I just know sometimes I suck at breathing. <laughs> It's cool though. I'm I'm working on it. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. I'm done brushing the dog. Probably not going to do exercises until like Thursday, probably Friday. Um I'll keep streaming me brushing the dog though cuz she's cute. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um Yeah, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I've annoying. <laughs> I'm about to get off because I am also kind of sleepy again. So I'm probably going to like go put on a Christmas movie and pass out. Yeah. I figured out my favorite Christmas movie though. It's Deck the Halls with Danny DeVito. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to get to be here. Good to be seen. <laughs> I'm still alive, guys. But, yeah, favorite Christmas movie, Deck the Halls with Danny DeVito. I strive to be the level of understanding of Kristen Chenoweth in the scene where they're, uh, where he's, like, sitting in the sleigh. Or he's, where they're both sitting in the sleigh and they're talking. I strive to have that level of understanding in every day-to-day -day life. <laughs> If you've seen the movie, then you know what I'm talking about. But if you haven't, you should see it. It's a, it's a dope Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie. Deck the Halls, Danny DeVito. Yeah.
But, yeah, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, <laughs> I got to episode 16 of Naruto now. <laughs> I'm not only on episode 13 now. I'm on episode 16. It's it's pretty cool. I thought, okay, so when um, Haku first came into the picture, they were confu- confused about who he is. And I was confused about it, and then I watched up until episode 13, and then, mind blown, now I get it, whatever. (laughs) I made assumptions before actually watching it, and yeah, it's cool though. (laughs) Still learning. I have not been doing my workout either. I mean, it's December. Who wants to be working out this month anyway? Plus, it's like the winter months. Isn't it like common for people to not want to work out in the winter months? Because it's just... I don't know. But I still use yoga for stuff. And I think I injured myself. But nobody can tell. So I'm just gonna... Gonna do the same. No, if you injured yourself, you should probably make sure you're okay. Before you continue to... I mean, that's just my opinion. (laughs) But you're okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I just... Like I said, I'm just waiting for my next software update. Body powering down. I just have been sleeping a lot. That's pretty much why I haven't been streaming. Like, I went to bed last week on Sunday night. And I woke up yesterday. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so yeah but it's cool infusions on wednesday hopefully i will power up quickly <laughs> and then back to working out by like thursday or friday we'll see only time i'm not is when i get up from bed <laughs> probably i'll be fine in a few days in a few days. Di- um, okay. As long as you know you're gonna be fine. But if not, go see a doctor or get medical assistance because that's not good. Seriously, dude. <laughs> but I have been thinking about trying yoga. I don't know how I would how I would do with yoga just because I know yoga's like a hundred percent balance and I have zero percent of that. So <laughs> It'll be interesting. <laughs> I'll make it a thing. <laughs> Unbalanced yoga. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I need to sleep. You guys are seeing my eyelids get droopy and it's not making me feel... It's making me feel self-conscious. Yeah, nobody cares if I need a doctor around here. I don't tell anyone. It was probably why they don't care that you need a doctor because you don't tell anyone. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm making assumptions. I don't know. I don't know your situation. But, I mean, if I was in that situation... <clears throat> honestly, no. I was in that situation where I was in a facility for a time back when I was paralyzed. And I kind of did feel like nobody cared about my well-being while I was staying at this place. Um... But then I became very verbal about my concerns. And after that, the situation changed because they realized that I was no longer going to allow them to step all over me just because I was confined to a hospital bed. And I wasn't able to, like, get up and go places and voice my concerns and stuff. But I figured out a way how to do it. Even though I was paralyzed, I did figure out a way to be able to voice my concerns. So, yeah. It really just, I kind of just befriended, uh somebody in charge and then I told them my situation and then they were like what that's how they're treating you oh hell no (laughs) and then they immediately 
changes the situation for me. But, yeah, the moral of the story is, use your words. Because <laughs> people don't know what's inside your head. You have to tell them. So, yeah. I'm also learning this in a day-to-day -day situation. Yeah. Yeah, I learned this in a day-to-day -day situation this week. Use your words, because... People don't know what's in your head. They really don't. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yeah, I'm done. I need to sleep. Um, I'll see you tomorrow when I brush the dog again. I'll stream that. So, thanks for tolerating me, dudes and duchesses. Sorry I haven't been streaming. I'm gonna stream brushing the dog just so you guys can see me. We can keep talking for a bit. But other than that, I'm just gonna be sleeping <laughs> until the infusion. Um, okay, thanks for letting me spill my guts here. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Spill your guts. I think I will take a long time for me to change situations. Yeah, I get that. Sometimes it just takes time to... I mean, it did take a, a long time for me to change the situation I was in when I was in that situation, so... I mean, it's just being patient and making a game plan. I mean, it wasn't really a game plan, though. I just made friends with someone, and then they just happened to be in charge. Like, it was a it was a weird situation, but it's still, like... Uh, the moral of the story is just voice... Like, you just use your words, man. You just gotta talk to someone and let them know, like, hey, I... I'm feeling neglected. I don't appreciate it. Could someone at least, you know, I don't know, help <laughs> a little bit? Okay, very nice to talk to someone who's been nice and not doing to make money or something. Yeah, of course. I mean, I do like money. Who doesn't like money? But that's not the goal here, so... <laughs> The goal is just to get more representation of people who are mobility impaired out in the world because there's so many mobility impaired just everything out there. Why are we not being why are we not the ones representing it? Why are like mobility impaired just like everything being represented by people who aren't disabled? Like I watched uh a season of this one TV show uh what is it? It's like Degrassi or something like that. And like the rapper Drake was in it. Or I think it was Drake. I don't know. Some famous rapper was in the show and he played a paralyzed high schooler. Why would you have a non paralyzed person? play a paralyzed character why would you just not have a paralyzed actor play a paralyzed character you see you see my whole thing or like workout programs modified mobility workout programs why are barbie and ken the ones leading a modified mobility workout program <laughs> Why would you not have someone who's actually, like, who actually is mod mobility impaired, who would actually, like, be representing and using, like, showing you accurately how to do the, mo like, modified mobility, you know, like, you get my point. I'm very frustrated right now. <laughs> my words are not connecting with my mouth or my brain right now. But you get what I'm saying, Okay. <laughs> Sir Winslot twelve zero twelve. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. It is shoddy. <laughs> I'm getting there. Not impaired yet. Yeah, there's a lot of unfairness. Exactly. But yeah, that's pretty much pretty much where I'm at. Um, yeah, okay, eyelids getting too droopy, I'm feeling self-conscious about it, <laughs> I'm gonna go sleep, peace out.
thanks for tolerating me, dudes, dudettresses. See you tomorrow when I brush the dog. I'm not gonna lie for people if it's unfair, I'll admit it. Okay, thanks for that. Okay, peace out. Thanks for tolerating me. <laughs> Have a good afternoon, morning, evening, night. Like, share, follow. Um, oh yeah, I posted new TikToks. Check them out. They're funny or cool. I don't know. It's just a playlist of feelings. <laughs> I talked about this before. I'm not going to go into it. I need to sleep. Okay, peace out. Thanks for tolerating me. Have a good afternoon, morning, evening, night. Bye, dudes, dude. It just is. <laughs>